Hi guys, Gunshin Pet, and welcome back to uh, my legendary playthrough of Skyrim on the Xbox 360. Uh, at the end of the last episode, we basically did a couple of contracts for Nazir, um, including killing this guy, Maloril, uh, Dark Elf, who'd gone rogue. Um, so what, what happened was it brought us to the place uh, Missen Chalef, which is a uh, Druma ruin. And I figured we might as well just spend this episode mapping out the rest of it, because it seems quite small. Uh, famous last words, I know. Uh, but I figured we might as well... As we're here, just see what else the, this place has to hide, uh, has to offer even, or well, has to hide, I suppose is correct as well. Uh, trouble is though, we're pretty close to the limit as far as weight goes, so uh, I will be trying to blaze through this basically as quickly as possible, uh, just because I can't really pick up that much. And as you can see, 523 now, 530, so if we do find anything awesome in here, uh, I'm going to have to start scratching my head as to what to leave behind. For now though, there was kind of, at the last end of the last episode, like a battle going on between some um, Centaurians and, uh, sorry, not Centaurians, what are those other ones called? Spheres and Bandit, but apparently, looks like the Bandit must have won. Can't hide from me. Actually, I'm going to help out the Bandit because uh, he's the less dangerous of the two. Because these Spheres can be really dangerous, especially the Master one. I didn't finish the job. I'll do it. <laughs> the great thing about these um, dwarven things is because of metal, obviously, the arrows kind of do damage but bounce off. So it's quite easy to get your arrows and everything back. Take that, take that, and that, and those. Thank you. Your story. Okay, that's the master. Where did one go? Okay, here he is. Brilliant. Actually, one thing you should do, let's charge up our bow as well. Because I've got so much I'm lugging around, uh, we really need to sort that out. Oops. Got any petties we can use up? There we go. Back up to speed. So I, can't, I must admit I can't remember this dungeon too well, uh, but I just thought we're here, so we might as well. Obviously, part of the band. Uh, I'm not going to spend too long on it though. Maybe just an episode. The good thing about Dwarven Ruins is there's normally some really good loot in them. Because they are quite heavily defended. So, ooh, excellent. Um, so yeah, let's press on, I guess. Do, 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 do. I must, must admit, I was kind of a bit disappointed that in... Um, the other scrolls online they didn't bring in the just kind of the dwarves just to find out what happened with them i mean it'd be kind of nice to to find out their whole history um, and maybe play as a dwarf as well at some point that'd be kind of cool oh hello i hate those spiders the shock spiders are the worst the guardians or whatever they're called i really hate them good thing is though they normally have um Soul gems, exactly. It's kind of cool. Okay, that looks like a centurion. Ooh, excellent. Because the bad thing is, I think this whole place is full of them. So you just know that one of them is going to activate. For now, we are just raiding. I see you. Missed. Doing that time. <laughs> Hmm. 
Hmm, major haggling. Price is 17% better. Okay, whatever. We'll take it. No, nope. no thanks. And uh, no thanks. So we might as well just go through and see if there's anything we can leave because uh, we are getting close to that limit. Uh, to be honest, I don't really want to leave anything. Oh, those can go. It's worth quite a lot. Anyway, it doesn't weigh that much, to be honest. And about here. That's the ancient um, Dark Brotherhood armor we found in Hag's End. I can go. Got tons of those, but they're quite light. That's the reason why I want to keep them. The chef's hat was taken for token value. Uh, Cicero's boots, we killed him, and we've got his jester's clothes as well. Um, hmm. They're quite light. Those can go. Yep. Jester's boots, we've got Jester's outfit as well, which is pretty much the same as Cicero, it's just slightly uh, less uh, useful. The enchantments are slightly weaker, um, it's kind of cool. Um, Nightweaver's band, I mean there's so much stuff, I really do need to go back to um, this stuff we got from, um, uh, what's it called, Caius Maro, there's a guy we had to assassinate, um, it's kind of cool. But I just kept it because it's unique more than anything else. Um, and then we've got this worn shrouded armor as well, which I think we found. The good thing is this isn't enchanted, so you know we could put our own enchantments on there maybe if I just want a change of look. But for now, I'm quite happy with the uh, the nightingale armor. I'm not saying it's the best armor in Skyrim, but it just looks ace, uh, just because it's got a cape and it just looks really cool. Um, it's a shame that there's not more kind of mods on console for the um, the army. You know, like you can enchant your own stuff that'd be cool but unfortunately there isn't so no, I'm not gonna bother too much and obviously if you guys know of a chest or something that I should really pick up and I'm missing because I'm gonna try and rush through this in just one episode this dungeon so I'm not doing it I haven't played this before and so I just knew that was gonna happen awesome That was easier than normal. Because yeah. obviously you can take a uh, dwarven metal, melt it down, and you can then make uh, dwarven arrows. And you get 24 hours. Oh, hello. Brilliant. So there's no masters in here, that's perfect. Okay. <laughs> Again, these bolts are from Dawnguard DLC because um, you can actually get crossbows. Um, it's another thing that I'm going to hopefully get to at some point, but there's just so much to get through in this game. Now, that's just in the standard Skyrim game <laughs> without including the DLCs. But hopefully, we'll get through it all at some point. Um, this is probably going to be the longest series I've ever made. <laughs> I'm having so much fun with this game, and I hope you guys are having fun watching it, to be honest. I can... this kind of rings a bell, haven't I done this before? Yeah, I think I may have done. I just can't remember. It's kind of an annoying puzzle. We have to pull certain levers to get to the other end. I sure have done this before. Oh, I can't remember. Here. 
you have to get an end to nothing round, but I can never remember this sequence. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm taking too long with this, so I might just pause it. Where'd you come from? And since when did you guys come with flamethrowers? Crazy this. Finally. Hi right, guys, so I finally uh, figured it out. <laughs> Took me a while. Um, it's one of those, probably one of the most annoying puzzles that I've come across so far, um, but we're good. And uh, let's go down here. Mm. It's kind of weird that it's not mapped out because I'm sure it's just all kind of feeling familiar. That makes any sense? I'm sure we've been through here once already. But I can't for the life of me remember. So I'm not sure what to do really. Uh, well, I might as well press on, I guess. Like I said, I was only going to spend one episode on this, so. Far more silly, if you can see me. I'm just going to run through this as quickly as possible because it, it kind of all feels familiar but I honestly can't remember. I've done so many episodes of this um, between recording and then obviously um, like test runs and stuff as well. I, um, I'm not sure what I have and what I haven't done to be fair. Still. I'm just going to burn through this as quickly as I can, which I've probably said about 50 times already. Hello. The good thing about farm is they are pretty... Whoa, back. They're pretty much blind, so 
so uh, if you're muffled especially like I am uh, they have real trouble trying to find you making taking them down a lot easier also uh, the Falmer helmets these things are actually a glitch which means you can actually enchant this as well to add to your because uh, normally you can only enchant like a headpiece or a helmet but with this if you enchant a circlet and you have the um, the farmer helm you can actually put an enchantment on that as well which in effectively means you could put uh, two four four enchantments on your headgear if you really wanted but I personally think that's just way too much of a glitch and a cheat uh, which is why I don't do it but I thought I'd throw it out there just in case any of you guys feel like doing that let's have a look at the map where am I heading further into the depths <laughs> farmer lecture hall <sighs> that school cancel I'm afraid <laughs> oh right right in the shoulder nice yeah I'm not really bothered about loot or anything like that I just want to get through here because I'm not sure if I've cleared it already or not don't remember doing anything here but that doesn't mean to say that I haven't just goes to show how bad my memory is I guess <laughs> I mean, this all sound, seems so familiar. I'm sure we have to do this as part of the Thieves Guild quest line. When we're chasing down the traitor, we just kind of sneak our way through here. But anyway, I think it's like a Centaurian we're going to take out at some point. Don't Oh, excellent, gonna get killed by his own trap. Gold, sweet, gold ore, even better. Lockpick, thank you. No, I don't want to pick that all karma up, it's too heavy. Anyway, we'll take it for now because it's enchanted. I've got bandit. So he's obviously food for this guy. For 522, so we're on the limit. Let's press on a little further. You've got, ooh, glowing mushrooms, excellent. You can use that in a fortified um, smithing potion with uh, blister wart. That's quite good. And where are we now? We found the fountain of youth. There it is. Okay. It looks way too quiet. So familiar. Maybe it's me, I'm just going crazy that. I suppose the only one way to find out because there's probably gonna be some sort of word wall maybe in here. Right, so let's get rid of that orc armor. And come on. Anything else we're carrying that might be uh yeah, goodbye. Gold. Hmm, Malachi ore. Interesting. Oops. <laughs> totally forgot the ebony arrows. Idiot. Right, there we go. And, uh, Yeah, we're getting close to the end. So, 
I'm assuming it's up there. There'll be some sort of switch probably. Excellent kill cam there. <laughs> we could see a lot, couldn't we? Anyway. I think we're going through. Oh, there we go. That'll open that gate. Yep, there it is. But is it on a timer? I can never remember. Okay, um, I think we're coming up to the time limit again as usual so I think we might need to spend at least one more episode on this area if we've got here dwarven oil farmer helmet farmer armor who would want that <laughs> ooh have that up. and uh, is that gate nope good I thought you might be on a timer but it's not obviously so, um, the thing is, I'm not sure how much how much further it is. Let's go into the fountain of youth, and nothing happens. <laughs> Alright, guys, this seems like a good place to leave it. So, um, coming up on the next episode, we'll finish off this uh, this dungeon, which is um, I just feel so familiar. Um, so forgive me if we have already been through here once, uh, but it doesn't say cleared on it, so I'm assuming um, that we haven't. But anyway, I'm going to finish this off on the next episode, and then we'll get back to the Dark Brotherhood and uh, hopefully kill an emperor. <laughs> for now, though, thanks for watching. Take care and peace.